Hi everybody, it's Dr. Dan. I'm back. Uh, this is where we left off. We have our blood vessel model. It's ready for FlowSim. Uh, now I just have to get it ready completely um, by putting lids on each of the openings because a flow, op, uh, flow sim can only work inside a closed cavity uh, the way we're going to run it. So you have to close each end. There is a create lids tool in flow sim. I have had far more success just doing it myself than using the, the create lids tool. So that's what I recommend for you guys is to do that. Um, first, I'm going to clean things up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hide that plane. I'm also going to make sure all these, like you see that line in there. I don't want that. I don't want some of those lines, those sketches still showing up. So I'm going to make sure I have all the sketches gone. There we go. That's a little bit better. And the other thing that makes things just look, you know, prettier is by changing the look uh, instead of the shape with edges on it, just do it shaded, right? And it makes it look uh, nice and smooth. Um, kind of how you would want it to look. So to make the lids, we're basically going to use the sketches that we had uh, at all these edges to, to make extrusions into the blood vessel. And so we can start with any of these sketches. Um, so let's start with sketch six. So we can do extruded boss. And you can see right now it's coming out. We want to extrude in, so I'm going to switch directions. And also it doesn't need to go in very far, so I'll do 0.5 millimeters. Um, put that in there. I'm going to uncheck merge result because I don't want it to be part of the main um, the main part. Okay, that was one lid there. Like you can actually rename these if you wanted. Like I can call this lid. So now I'm going to keep going to the others. So we'll do this one next. Again, I want to make sure it goes in, so I'll switch directions. We don't want to merge the result because we want it to be a separate part. Okay, so for this one, we lofted, but that's our part we want to extrude in. Again, we want it to go in, not merged. And finally, our sweep. Okay, we want it to go in and not merged. Okay, so this thing is all lit up. It should be ready for flow sim. The other thing we're going to want to do is make sure that we can see inside of it through the flow sim. So on this thicken, if I right click, I can hit change transparency and it makes it transparent. You could do the same thing with the lids. Uh, you know, I actually don't usually do the lids right now because as I want to select the lids to make boundary conditions, it's just easier if they're not transparent. Okay, so we're ready for FlowSim. 